All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Get, get off of there. Get on, get. Salakia. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. I just picked up my phone. You know, I'm at work, I'm actually in my truck right now. Just picked up my phone and I saw this comment. And somebody had left, you know, uh, posted up, you know, the new moon Sabbath, right? And let's read this comment here. You know, I'm, I'm, this is totally impromptu, so it is what it is. It says, Shalom, brothers. Okay, I guess it, you, the, this person is Paul Williams. William, Paul Williams, 727, is talking to me. Shalom, brothers. Are you sure the Sabbath starts Saturday evening to Sunday evening or Sunday evening to Monday evening? And uh, you know, I rep uh, you know replied, uh, yes, I'm quite sure of it. All right, uh, what I said was this is exactly what I said. Just posted it. Yes. Why do you ask? You know, it's, it's a good question. Why do you ask? I, I would like to know why you're asking. Maybe this person doesn't quite understand. <clears throat> Slakia. One moment. Ooh, momento. Ah, Slakia about blowing my nose like that. In front of you, but you know, a brother had to get the mucus out, man. All right, uh, so here's what I said. I said, yes. Why do you ask? The Sabbath goes according to the to the moon cycles, and that's correct. And you know, and to IUIC, the new moon is not a full moon. New moon is a dark moon. It's completely dark. Okay, and that's that. So let's go to Paul Williams. <gasps> Please excuse me, Page. Okay, it'd be nice. If uh, Paul Williams, if you, you know, if you are a Hebrew Israelite, then, you know, get into the ministry and actually do some lessons. And if you say anything it, on our comment boards, I was getting, as a matter of fact, I was getting ready to do a lesson. But I want to say this. If you say anything on Great Millstone comment boards, leave a scripture. You know, because, uh, you know, as, as Apostle Gabar said in this thing of ours, <laughs> right, in this thing of ours, you know, the uh, the comment board is it's a whole nother lesson. You know, and, and there's other brothers that are going to have way more comments and all that. You know, it's not about popularity, nothing like that. So, you know, it doesn't even matter. But if you're going to leave something, leave a scripture. OK, you know, ask about you know, how, how you how, how do you figure out, you know, what the Sabbath is? Ask, you know, uh, ask, ask a question, ask a, a good question. Not are you sure, you know, because, uh, you know, that, that comes off as being a little asshole -ish, I'm just saying. Just being honest about it. All right. So I'm getting ready to go into a whole nother video. Again, the brother Yahakarab, man, I was listening to his video just now, you know, watching a lot of videos today, you know, while, while whistling while, while I'm working. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyway, oh, man, this is this is madness. Let's see if I can just go ahead and go to it like this. Um. Let's see here. Uh, I know he had a video he put up. Um, yeah, yeah there, there it is right there. Okay. That, okay, all 12 tribes is black. And if you think that, what the hell is this? This is madness. It's complete madness. Shall smite thee with madness. All right, here. You know what? I'm going to pause this blindness and come back to it and so, what, so you can hear what he's saying. Meaning your mind. You ain't going to get no understanding. Period. You don't know what's going on. See, period, point blank. Now I'm going to show you why this person is blinded and why this person has been smitten with madness. Now I'm going to show you why. Well, actually, I'm going to show you that this person, the most high have blinded this person, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have smitten this person with madness. Now watch this. Read the comment. It says what? Well, I guess this person's name is... Ayana Coleman, I guess this is a chick, and it says, read your Bible, all 12 tribes are black, and I gave her a thumbs down for making that stupid ass statement, see, no matter where we are scattered, let's go into this person's channel right quick, <laughs> look at the subscriptions, right, you see it, and, and boom, the first one jumped out at me, if you saying that, why in the hell 
where you subscribe to some shit like this. If you saying, or if you even believe that all 12 tribes are so-called black, why in the fuck would you subscribe to somebody that got a, a, a channel and they, 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 they channel subscription pay image is this. All right, I'm back. I'm back. This is Jeremiah. Uh, you know what you just saw? Oh, man. When I was listening to the brother's lesson, man, that had me completely dumbfounded. Here it is. You say an asinine statement like all 12 tribes are black and, and they use the word black. OK, the black and white thing, it, it's got to go, man. You Israelites, nobody's black, nobody's white. It's been lessons done about it just this week. Oh, boy. Let's read this. Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. Unbelievable. I, I, when, I, when I saw that, I was like, huh? <laughs> For my people is foolish. They're what? They're foolish. They have none understanding. They the what? They have not known me. So lucky. Let's read it again. I, I'm just, just wow. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. My it's for my peoples is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children. What does sodish mean? Let's go into it. All right. Let's just read the rest of it. And they have not. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So let's do this. Let's look this up. Got my daughter beside me. Let's slock you. There we go. Let's look this up. This word. Let's see. Fool, foolish is H191. Okay. And let's see here. I look for Sodish. Sodish. H5530. H5530. It goes into. Let's see. What does this say? Strong's definition. Silly. Foolish. Sodish. Let's move on down. Fool. So it, it was a foolish and an asinine statement to say that all 12 tribes, and we say, that's why we say so-called black and so-called white. Okay? That all 12 tribes are black, right? Which is complete and utter nonsense. You can go, is it? I think it's in Ezekiel. All right? You can go to Ezekiel and it tells you that it, it, it was mainly a year and a half that the northern kingdom, well, is a northern and a southern kingdom, what came to what? Ashraf. All right, which in fact is the Americas. That's that's where the Northern uh, Kingdom went. Okay, that's where they went. <laughs> Namely, a year and a half, three three years round trip. Right? We all know the story. You know, you look look deeper into it. That's a whole nother lesson. Okay. Now, how did the so called black person, the Negro, how did the so called Negro get over here? How? How? How did they get over here? Okay. Via ships, it's, it's, you can read about it in Deuteronomy 28, chapter verse 68, as a matter of fact. Okay, what a stupid and asinine statement that was. Just dumb, sottish, stupid, foolish. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. The Lord Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness. Now, the brother brought this scripture out, you know, in his lesson. And I'm, I'm going to bring it out again. We got to read it again. What with blindness and madness and astonishment of heart? What's your heart? Your heart is your mind. Okay. So uh, it, first and foremost, it was asinine and a sottish statement to make. And then you go, uh, you know, then the brother went on the person's channel and saw this. This. Now, hold on now. If all 12 tribes are so-called black people. Why does who the world Henry calls Jebus? Why would Yahweh look like this? As a matter of fact, he didn't look like that. The scripture goes into it and it tells you. It, it, matter, it explains what he looks like. We're going to read it. See? It explains what he looks like. So this is all kinds of confusion. All kinds of confusion. And woman, keep quiet on the comment board anyway. You know? Keep quiet. Now, hey, you, you, you know, Shalom, a uh, good lesson or. You know, uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That, that's welcomed. That's welcome, and you know, especially to you Aqua that are doing the right thing. And you know who you are. And the ones that get pricked by these videos when we when we uh, bring it out about the woman needs to shut the hell up on the comment board and all that. The you you ones that are pricked by these words by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's words from the prophets. You know who you are. That's a fact. All right. 
This is Matthew 22 and verse 29. Hamashiach Yahweh answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High Yahweh. What is err? That's an error. You, you making an error. You shouldn't even be speaking in the first place, let alone saying something as asinine as all 12 tribes are black and then have a damn and then have Cesare. Uh, disgusting. I can't stand these damn Edomites. Anyway, Salahia. You know, I didn't have Cesare uh, uh, as a damn, uh, what do you call it, an avatar. That is, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's sottish. Okay? He's not the author of confusion. Let's read about it. First Corinthians 14. Hey, my, hey, my phone had to chime on that one. Right? For the most high power is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. And where's the churches of the saints? Where's the church? It, it, you know, it's on the, it's on the comment boards when two or three are gathered together, right? It's out there on the highways and byways when you got two and two gathered together. You know, hey, I'm by myself, but it is what it is. It's a it's a faith thing, man. You know, I got I got uh, I got faith and know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, he's got angels in camp round about us and he's watching. He's got our backs. We good. See, you got to have faith and understand. You know, and I guarantee you she don't know the names. Right? She don't know the names. I think well, I I forgot what the brother has said. So I don't I don't think she said the Jebus word or whatever. But she don't know the names and she down she don't know what he looks like, you know? I mean, just and again, the scriptures go into it and tell you. So, one of the first things that got me is she said all 12 tribes are black, right? So if you, oh boy, in this thing of ours, as Apostle Gabar says, if you if you don't know already, that's why we say so-called black and so-called white. We don't, we don't even use those terms. It, it, all, it was all made up by the enemy anyway. You see, that's one of the first red flags, right? Visiting the comment board, ain't that something? All right, let's see. Deeply stained with dirt. That's one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get this one, you see. Relating to black people. See, that's why you think they called us black, man. Here we go. Look, look, listen to this. Full of anger or hatred. Do you, did you, you see that? Full of anger or hatred. And they showed you that in that movie. Um, what was that movie? Uh, uh, X, Malcolm, Malcolm X. All right, when he was in, when you know when uh Denzel Washington he played he played Malcolm X Malcolm X anyway when he was in prison and he you know supposedly would learn about Islam or whatever and that's a, that's a whole other issue right there you know Jake wants to try everything else but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah the real the Bible the actual Bible okay anyway you know there was a it was a pretty heavy definition you know when the when the brother was reading that it, it was it was good you go back and watch that movie that part where he's in prison. And he's reading uh, uh, the definition of black and the definition of white, man. It was, you know, it was, it was, it was good. It was a good, you know, moment in that movie. Go, go back and watch that. Anyway, full of, uh, uh, full of anger or hatred, very evil or wicked. Okay, so they're calling you evil, wicked, uh, angry, and and and, and uh, got hatred in your mind and your heart, right? That's what they're saying. That's what they're calling you. They're calling you a nothing, a low down, low down nothing. All right, and they give you that as a nationality. That, that should tell you. That should tell you. It's just crazy, man. It's complete madness. Got a couple more. I won't make this too long. All right, Revelation. What does Revelation mean? It means to reveal. See, Revelation means to reveal. Let's read it. Revelation one verse one. The revelation of Hamashiach Yahushai, which the Mosai Yahweh gave unto him, well, his servant John. Right. To show unto uh, his servants things that must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay? So he, he what? He signified it. He sent it unto uh, uh, by an angel unto his servant John. Let's, let's read. Who bear record? This is a record. Okay? Not the, not the one that spins on a little turntable. We put the needle on it and it makes music. No. A record. It, 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 it caused these words to be written in paper. What for our learning in these in these uh, uh in these times of uh, wicked times, man. All right. Who bear record of the word of the Most High Yahweh and of the testimony of Hamashiach Yahweh and of all things that he saw. See that all things that he did. What he saw. He damn sure 
Didn't see that. Let's read it. Oh, my goodness. Scripture said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. The curse of Cain was a pale skin. All these different things, man. Uh, read about when uh, when Miriam got, uh, you know, got uh, the curse of leprosy, man. You know, he was astonished. He was like, what in the world? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let's read verse three. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. You see that? For the time is what? The time is at hand. Let's move on down. You know where I'm going. Hey, back to the basics, man. It is what it is. What did he say? He said, I'm Alpha and Omega. That's verse 11 saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. See? So he, go, he ain't going to come back looking like he, he wasn't here in the first place. Looking like Cesare. That's a no, no. <laughs> That's you Israelites are crazy, man. Y'all bugging the hell out. All right. What thou seest, write in a book and send it and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia and Ephesus and unto uh, uh, Samira and unto uh, uh, Pergamos and unto uh, uh, Salakia, Th uh, Th Thai Ar Arta. I probably said it wrong, Salakia, right? And unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea, okay? Verse 12, and I turned, we, what, did, what did the servant John say? He said, and I turned to see the voice that spake unto me. Was I, was I just reading red letters right there? What does red letters mean? Red letters mean Yahweh Shai, our big brother, Yahweh Shai was speaking. See that? And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. What? Seven golden candlesticks, not nine. Seven golden candlesticks. <laughs> in, a, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, not a t-shirt with fringes on it, Okay, and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He, he had a big old golden a girdle, man. He was bad. Woo. This is talking about Yahweh Shai right here, right? It, it, it's, it's proven right here in the scriptures. Wasn't it just red letters I was speaking? I was reading? His head and his hairs, meaning the hairs on his head, were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. They were what? White like wool. Strike one. Strike one. See that? Okay. Uh-oh, so lucky. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. It was white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire. What? We all know uh, they called Yahweh a wine bibber. He's, his eyes were red with wine. The scripture says this, says these things. Blessed is he that readeth, right? I just read that in Revelation 1 and verse 3. My goodness. And his feet like unto fine brass fine what fine brass now fine brass is what color they you know, these christians they'll tell you so-called christians you know because the real true christians are, uh, were called christians first at antioch right which in fact is the hebrew israelites but oh boy these christians man I, i'm just gonna keep reading i don't even want to talk about it. these people they, they drive they'll drive you crazy man but they, you know they won't though apostle tahar just did a video with the IUIC, went back into that same damn barbershop. You know, not uh, uh, Aaron, not Aaron, Salakia, error, not knowing the scriptures, man. They went back in there trying to convince them, and they, they, they weren't going to listen to nothing. See, I mean, it, 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 even if they were getting cut, they he was cutting them with the scripture. They just, they don't want to hear it. Shake off the dust of your feet, man. Oh, boy. Anyway, fine brass. That's what I was going into. You know, my mind goes a million different directions sometimes. You know, it is what it is, man. In the kingdom, we're going to get our, all our thoughts and our minds together. The laws in our inward parts. All right. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass is really brown. All right. That's that. All the impurities in brass these days and all that. It's, it's really, it, it, it's, it's brown, man. As if they burned in a furnace. What? As if they burned in a furnace. Anything gets darker when you, let's just keep reading. And his voice is as the sound of many waters. He was he was an austere man. He was very loud. He cried aloud and spared not. 
He spared nobody's feelings. He, he gave the straight skinny and the, the, and the true gospel of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. That's what's up. He, he spoke with 5,000 people at one time. He didn't have a bullhorn. He didn't have one of them you know, electronic things where you push the little button and it makes your voice sound you know, uh, uh, 30 times louder. No. He didn't have that. He didn't need it. Okay? You know, hey, the earth is going to tremble when they hear his voice this time. In the, in what? In the Hebrew tongue, man. You know, the most powerful language on earth and to ever be. All right. And his feet were like under fine brasses if they burned in a furnace. Ooh. And his voice is as a sound of many waters. And, and he had in his right hand seven stars out of his mouth. What? Out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword. And this is this. That's what the scripture said I just, you know, and look He was an austere man Out of his mouth A two-edged sword, right? He was cutting the hell out of everybody uh, He was cutting everyone Okay? With the true gospel, man The 100% truth Uh-huh That's what's up All right? And his countenance was as the, uh, the sun shineth in his strength Okay? Let's get another one It's, you know, it's on that so It's on that sign we read all the, that, we, that we bring to the camp all the time. Okay? But the only sign we really need is the 12 tribes. And that's what's up. Let's read this. Daniel 10 and verse 1. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was received unto Daniel. You hear this? You listen very closely. Whose name was called uh, Belteshazzar, And the thing was true. But this time appointed was long. And he, and he understood the thing and, and had understanding of the vision. So it was a vision. He had an understanding of this vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread. Neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Okay. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Verse four. Remember, you see, you know, what did what did what, what did he see? What did, what does Saint John see when he turned and spake with the voice that he heard? Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man, clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of Euphrates. See that? His body, what? His body. He was wearing a green garment. Was also like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. See, these are, this, is, this is written in uh, uh, parables, man. You know, his face, he, his, he had a shine to him, right? You know, just like you uh, you brothers and you sisters, that's, that's in the truth, man. People see you. And that's why they hate him, that rebuke in the gate, right? They get ready to sign that damn bill anyway. Let's go. And his eyes, mm, please lock it. Mm, excuse me. And his eyes as lamps of fire. He said the same thing in Revelation, didn't it? <clears throat> Slock it down And his arms and his feet like in color What's the opposite Of color Oh man what was the, uh, the Apostle Tahar Did the video No it's Apostle Bar did the video yesterday Where uh that uh she, She's a 1948er Jane Elliott She did the, the, the black and white Experiment or whatever the hell it was You know she going off too though You know anyway She did that experiment and she called was it melanated? Uh, shit, I forgot what it was. Salakia. It was a good video. Go back and watch it. It was yesterday, Apostle Gabar, right? You know, a lack of melanin. Anyway, you know, it is what it is. The Cain's curse. That's what Cain's curse was. What no damn ham. You know, it, it, it was ham. Cain was ham. He cursed to be black. And you damn dumbass Mormons. Black Mormons. Yeah, I don't, I don't like black people neither. <laughs> Let's read it again. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. See that? And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude that said the exact same thing in Revelation, did it not? It said it did the exact same thing. And I, Daniel, alone saw this vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision. See, see, the election has obtained it. And the rest were blinded. 
but a great quaking fell upon them so that they fled to hide themselves. What from the appearance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? Woo! Fear is the beginning of wisdom. Let's, let's go here. See that? What is that? That's wool, man. That's wool right there. Look, look, look. That's wool right there. You see that? Jake's hair be looking like that, too. You know, I'm just saying. Southern, uh, Southern Kingdom and, and a lot of the uh, Northern Kingdom, you know, hey, they was looking that way, too. Why do you think a whole lot of the uh, so-called Native Americans, you know, the Gadites and a, a lot of Northern Kingdom, you know, why do you think they got classified as Negroes, man? Read the Zodervans. <laughs> oh, man. Not the Negro. Oh, my goodness. It's madness, man. You people are crazy. Like the scripture said right there in Deuteronomy 28. He shall smite thee with blindness and madness, man. That's a crazy asinine statement that, that chick had made, man. It was downright stupid. It was sottish, foolish. All those different. You can keep thy foot, man. You know, as a matter of fact, just if you ain't going to post that scripture, you know, like I was going into there, you know, it, it, like I was going into with, with that first dude. I forget what his name, Jeremy or something. I don't know what the hell his name was. Are you sure that's the fool? Are you sure? I mean, well, what, what, you know, are, why, why ain't you sure? <laughs> Study to show thyself approved, right? A, a, a workman and nothing on the channel, all that. Daniel 7 verse 9. Let, let's read this. I behold till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. Didn't the scripture say he, uh, he is of no time? The ancient of days. Who that? That's Yahweh. Hey, that, that's the uh, uh, that's the that's the one. That's the father. OK. The one who gave the blueprint for all this to be created. You people are crazy. You have no fear of your how about Shimmy. I was shy. All right. And the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Did you hear that? Like the pure wool. Strike three. Hello, what is, what is this? You know, read Maccabees. It said they sought to paint the likeness of their images, iconoclasm. We go over these things as you know, as the brother said, ad nauseum, man. We go over these things time and time and time. I don't want to see that uh, that thing no more. You know, time and time and time again, man. But Jake don't listen, man. They they you know their minds have been clouded and messed up by who? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Mm -mm -mm. As white as snow. And, his, and the hairs of his head were like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as a burning fire. Yeah, when them chariots come back, what are they going to be doing? A highly concentrated uh, uh, laser beam shooting war of the worlds, man. They put it. Esau, Edom knows what's going on. But Jake has no idea. Why? Because they're like a damn wild bull in the net. They preoccupied with everything else but the real 100% truth, which in fact is contained in the scriptures. Blessed is he that readeth, right? Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work. What? Doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. And you know, peace and salutations to all of you that are doing so. Also to you, Akwath and the scattered Israelites that's going to come looking like the speckled bird area of the nation. Shalom to you. All right. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abiba Ball. Boom. Shalom.